Joshua is one of my favorite guys in the whole Bible. Okay, guys and girls, golly, let's get down to the business here. April 8th, April 8th, we're looking at Joshua, Joshua 1, 9. Joshua is one of my favorite guys in the whole Bible. You know, he was a warrior. He was a fighter. He believed in God no matter what. He even fought giants because God said, I'll go before you and take them out before you. So Joshua, and, and, and then when they, he made a big, they made a big speech and he became the commander after Moses uh, died and left the people of Israel, then he said, Choose you today who you would serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's not the verse for today. The verse is Joshua 1, 9. It's a great one, especially right now. Especially right now. Don't be afraid, because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Don't be afraid, because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You know... What is amazing to me, I wrote this book back in 2012. I picked these scriptures out and wrote them. Here we are, 2020, looking at a catch of the day, a scripture that fits so appropriately for Christians all over the world, especially here in America. Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's see what I wrote about that. My first attempt at fishing a tournament in California was Lake Oroville. That's the lake that Gary Klein grew up on, Lake Oroville. I borrowed a boat from a local ranger dealer after flying to the tournament, and then I headed to the lake for three days of official practice. Oroville was so clear you could read heads or tails on a dime 20 feet deep. Now that may sound like a fisherman's exaggeration, but that's the gosh honest truth. You could read heads or tails on a dime 20 feet deep, 20 feet deep. I practiced two days without getting a bite. Two days without getting a bite. On the last day of practice, I traveled as far as I could up the river and began fishing with a white roadrunner with a half of a pork strip trailer behind it. Uh, it's Uncle Josh pork strip trailer. And if you will remember, if you will remember on those, that's a that's a double that's a trailer that's kind of a flat trailer and it's got a it's got a a little tail on the end of it and i took a razor blade and cut it in two so i just used half of it just one part of it so it's about this wide and i was using half of it so i guess it's maybe a half inch wide so i was using like a, a quarter inch maybe and put it right behind that little roadrunner. i did that because it was flat and it would slow the rate of fall down and I started throwing at cracks in the steep bluffs because this water is ridiculously clear. Didn't matter how far you went up the river, same. And we started catching bass, lots of bass. During competition, three days, I caught more than 60 bass every single day. I won the tournament by two ounces, two ounces. If you belong to Christ, take heart and be persistent. He is right there, even when you seem to be failing. Remember that. He is right there even when you seem to be failing. Wow, I love that. Gosh, it's great to remember that tournament. <laughs> okay, here's our tip. Uh, here's our tip for uh, April 8th. In the South, most bass will spawn under the March or April full moon. Now, you can catch them all month long. But when they're actually going to do their spawning is going to be under the March or April full moon in most of the south. Now, as you move further north, you move into May and June and go way north and just about as far as bass go. Uh, you might even get into late June, early July. I've seen that way, way north, particularly some of the places where we've got smallmouth that have been sort of transported, transported further north in, in Canada. And uh, some people... I've got friends that have got lodges up there that have maybe taken six or eight smallmouth up there and put them in a small lake that you have to portage into or walk into or fly into, and they just exploded. I mean, as long as all six or eight of them weren't boys or girls, or if you had one or two of the others, and they have exploded. And they probably wasn't supposed to do that, but they've created some phenomenal fishing 
way further north than smallmouth really normally live. And they even get clear into July and be building beds. So, uh, but that most of that happens, the actual spawning around the full moon. So concentrate on that and think about that. And right now, tell you what I'm gonna do, it's chilly out here this morning. It's gonna be beautiful this afternoon. The sun's gonna be shining. I'm gonna be fishing. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great day. I love you.